Hey everybody, welcome back to DeHaven Family Farm. Here we are in the garage, and I wanna talk about a couple topics here today. Uh, right behind me is the trailer, and I just finished up a few projects on it. Uh, I did a video on installing, there is a 12,000 pound winch. There's a whole video on the installation of that. There was some fabrication work that went into that. And I just finished doing this uh, bale bar uh, you can see it here it goes up and across. This is for hauling round bales so that uh, you know when you set them on in the front I don't have to worry about strapping the front or worrying about them rolling off. I have two bolts on each side so four bolts I can take that off if I don't want the bar on there anymore but uh, it's going to make it a lot easier and it gets rid of my hillbilly hay rack thing that I had last year. So while I was doing these projects, I came across a couple of tips that I thought I would pass along to you. So I am basically an amateur fabricator welder. Definitely not a professional. I'd say I'm above the beginner phase. Um, but I came across these tips that I wanted to share with you guys, uh, especially beginners, that are going to make your fabrication and welding projects a little bit easier. So here's the video clips from the other day when I was working on these projects. I want to give you amateur fabrication tips. All right. So number one is a template for your winch. Uh, the instructions came with all sorts of weird metric dimensions on where the holes go. And this one got a little monkeyed up here, but basically I made a template so that I could square it up here and know where to drill my holes. So that, uh, that made life easy for mounting the winch. Now, general, general fabrication work, we have these weird angle pieces here on the side. We have a cut here with a horrible vertical weld. We have our regular weld here, and then it's welded down there on the trailer. So this piece here, Again, here is, oops, backwards, but here's my template. Uh, this was just thin cardboard. Uh, I'm, I think there's all kinds of, uh, there might even be special paper that you can get for uh, welding fabrication things. But uh, it allowed me to make a template and uh, then sketch those out. Okay. And the is way. on your welding helmet. Um, mine is uh, auto darkening and it takes batteries and it seems like every time i go to weld with it it either isn't working or the low battery light is on so i had previously uh probably a year ago went on to amazon and ordered i don't know 24 or so batteries for it because it takes two at a time so just keep that in mind even though you're not using it the battery still will go dead in it, so always have spare little batteries for it. It takes, uh, I don't remember what the number is, it's two little round ones, uh, round skinny flat ones, you have to take that apart. But just keep that in mind if you're going to be doing welding projects with the self-dimming helmet, always have some spare batteries. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I only made one mistake so far, and that is I wasn't thinking about the distance between here and here. And I thought I would be able to, and I'm still going to try. I thought it was taller, wasn't thinking. I did not paint the underside of my new channel. So I have to try and stick the sp spray can upside down and try and paint that some. I should have painted the underside of that before I welded it on there. So try to think ahead. Again, I'm not a professional fabricator, but any of those little things that you think of, ahead of time sure make life easier later so okay so the last tip that i have for you here you can see we have the drill press set up there is uh pilot holes here we need to make those uh up to half inch so you want to make sure that if you need to drill a larger hole don't just grab the half inch drill bit and have at it uh the best way to do it especially with uh, harder steels and, and certain metals is that you want to step your way up. So we have a smaller hole here and the drill press we have a drill bit that is a little bit bigger and then we have two more sizes here. We're going to step up 
So uh, this metal isn't too awful thick here, so we're gonna step four times. So we've already done one hole, that'll be two, third hole and our fourth hole will get us up to the half inch where we need to be. Uh, this is a much easier, the best way to do it uh, when you're trying to drill larger holes. And of course, if you had to go larger than the half inch, you could continue to step up from there. And just like that now we have our half inch hole for uh, our bolt to go into there uh, the process of stepping up the drill bits obviously it takes a little bit of time to continue to change the bits but but in terms of physical strain on your body I mean obviously I'm using a drill press here but uh, the other holes I have to drill around the trailer so I can't it is a lot less strenuous on your body to do the step method stepping with the drill bits a little at a time little at a time rather than trying to do one big drill bit at a time so uh, keep that in mind next time you have to drill a big hole so hopefully you found those tips helpful again you know you guys that aren't beginners you're probably watching this going oh well those are obvious things and they are but for somebody who's beginning into fabrication and welding uh, those tips are things that will make your life a lot easier and i certainly hope they help you if anybody has any other simple suggestions leave them in the comment section down below uh, we're all about educating teaching each other helping each other out here so leave those comments down below for others to read uh, short video here today guys thanks for watching uh, I don't know if you can hear the rain on the roof right now but it is currently raining so that's why we're in the garage here again today um, thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you on the next video